Oh wow, yeah. Then it's it's really 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 easy. Easy. In our lab, we do research on robot intelligence. Our main focus is to develop algorithms that allow robots to learn physical skills from people. For many decades, the research in artificial intelligence was limited to using computers. And the code that was written could not physically interact with the real world. Nowadays, with the existence of cobots and many other uh, robots that are out in the real world, AI has finally access, physical access, to the environment in order to perform different tasks and perceive the world with physical sensors. The Nero is a robot that we have built in our lab. The Nero stands for Design Engineering natural interaction robot. That's a research platform which combines manipulation and locomotion. The Nero has uh, dual arms with seven degrees of freedom each, uh, which have very good force control and it's very good at interacting with people and with objects. The research we do in our lab is centered around robot intelligence. We focus on the physical aspect how to transfer uh, motor skills from people to robots. There are two main ways that we uh, use to do this transfer. The first way is learning by imitation. So creating algorithms that allow robots to mimic skills that are demonstrated by a person. And the second approach is learning by self-improvement in which the robot tries to figure out on its own how to achieve the task which is set by a person it's impossible to pre-program a robot with all the necessary skills and knowledge that it would ever need. And instead, robots need to be able to learn on their own new skills and collect new knowledge. The only way this can possibly be achieved is by letting artificial intelligence and machine learning access to the physical world through sensors and actuators and let it learn on its own from people, from observations and from other robots. Very often we use learning from demonstration where a person demonstrates the skill and then the robot tries to imitate that demonstration. Other approach that we also use is reinforcement learning where the robot tries to achieve the task on its own by trial and error this second approach is more interesting because robots often discover novel ways of achieving the goal that a person has set. Many of the tasks require both high-level cognitive skills and low-level physical skills. Obviously, people and cobots have very different uh, skill set. So uh, people are good at the high-level part, while robots can perform easily the low-level part. So having teams of robots and uh, people working together uh, provides advantages for both sides. Robots get help with the high level part, which they lack, and people get help with the mundane physical part, which they don't want to do. Uh, so it's a win-win for both sides.